They say they found a 19-year-old man shot multiple times inside his car. He was pronounced dead minutes later. Investigators say two men approached the victim's car and fire. At least 29 casings were found at that scene. 29 died. Uh, Y'all this 29 times? What up, Moolah gang? It's your boy, Mac Moolah, a.k.a. Mr. Moolah Mac, and I'm back with another crazy video. Y'all know how we rockin', man. Top stock, keep the cushion in my pocket, man. Let's check it out. Oh, so now, we finna jump right into this video right now. Make sure y'all tap in the rest of my channel's link in the description. Tap in on my mentorship if you want me to show you how to get rich with crypto, stocks, business, and YouTube on Photo Grade. And if you don't believe me, click that link in my description right now. Go to my YouTube channel and see what I give you for the free ski. I'm for the great. See the sauce I give you for the free ski. I promise you're gonna sign up for that mentorship, and it's just like that. So let's get into the video. Oh, now. I see the viz. That look whack to me. That Honda cut start up. Now we smoke BK off the BK oh, that's that, or that's Baby that Ka was up. a part of the Philly oh, group oh, YBC and was really close to members like Dill. YBC, and oh, okay. Five. On May 13, 2022, at around 7 p.m., Baby Ka posted a picture of him Baby in his Ka? car. A blue Hondo accidentally giving up his location. A young man shot dead near his home in southwest Philadelphia. Police responding to the 1200 block of South 57th Street. Wait, what happened about his location? Tonight. They say they found a 19-year-old man multiple times inside his car. He in was pronounced car. dead minutes later. Investigators say two men approached the victim's car and fire. At least 29 things were found at that scene. Pause. Listen, I have a mentorship called the Moolah Membership where I'm going to teach you how to get rich with business, YouTube, crypto, stocks, financial literacy, credit, every single way. Now, I became a millionaire by the time I was 23 years old. I'm going to teach you step by step for only $50. Click the first link in the description right now and get added to my group chat where I'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one help to make sure you get rich in 2024. Click it right now. Stop tweaking because we got very, very, very limited spots and I don't want you to miss this bag. 29 died. Clear. Uh, y'all, this 29 times? Y'all, I'll be in Philly with a big bulletproof vest, bulletproof mask, bulletproof Iron Man suit walk around. Only time you see me walk around Philly. That, they out there tweaking on my dead mans. What the f is going on? And y'all keep talking about come to Philly. Come with Philly. You got fans in Philly. Nigga. If I ain't got no armored SWAT truck, I'm not coming to Philly, man. <laughs> uh, this was yeah, let's take it. shooting and an execution-style killing. Yeah, boy. The suspects are still on the run. Police continue to investigate. Philadelphia police say a 19-year-old Khalid Lassure was found shot inside of a blue 2020 Honda Accord on May 13, 2022 at 8.17 p.m. Philadelphia police officers responded to the 1,000 200 block of South Theath Street and found Khalid in the driver's seat of the vehicle. He had been shot 25 times. Medical God. personnel and pronounced Khalid deceased at the scene. Say yeah, at least he gotta be Wolverine of Survive 25. Shit. 30 shell casings were found on the scene. Two males in dark clothing approached the vehicle on foot and opened Two fire. In dark clothes, according boy. to police, no arrests have been made. Khalid Lesueur. 19 year to old black male resided on South Th Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This case remains unsolved. Don't forget Man, to unsolved. Like and that's not one other thing about Philly, Chicago. I know this boy. Them murders going to f unsolved, nigga. They ain't solving sh but a puzzle. Or for them. They ain't solving sh but the crossword puzzle. You hear me? Oh, bro. They, I, I'm talking about nigga. It's bad, for I'm talking about nigga in Chicago specifically. I'm from there. I can tell you. Nigga, you must catch four, five, six, seven, eight bodies before he get caught. But one, and then still get off. You ever heard of King Von? Okay. <laughs> F is you talking about, man? But I ain't gonna lie, for like on some real sh Like, I, I know that pain, bro. I know that pain, boy. But I promise you, gang, it's way easier to just go on about your life, go on about your business, for Because it ain't never gonna stop. Niggas just, it's just gonna be a bunch of niggas dead, a bunch of niggas in jail for. Foot, 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 foot. I don't know. I can, it's not. Comment and subscribe so I can make more of deep. these videos. This shit get deep and wicked fast. Try to pray we really bomb on a hot house two guys one day. How you die playing Fortnite? Oh, shit, start giving up. This is how you die playing Fortnite?
bomb on a hot house, two gone, one day. How you die? He's How you killed in two Fortnite? separate shootings in the city last night have now been identified. Philadelphia police say 15-year-old Kanye Pittman died at the hospital after being shot multiple times in North Philadelphia. That shooting happened at 8 o'clock on the 2500 block of North Sydenham Street. No arrests have yet been made. No arrests Half have been made. That there you go, same was shot and killed in the city's five hours section. before 18 Police have already identified him as Boy. Nazir, Ma Nazir Marks. He was shot multiple times in the 3900 block of Poplar Street around 730. No one has been arrested as of last night. The city's homicide count was at 206. That is 40 percent higher than the time one year ago. Details one Philadelphia family is now planning a funeral for their teenage son who was shot and killed earlier this week. Police are still looking for the gunman. Action News reporter Corey Davis talked with the victim's father today. He says his son was innocent and simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. I just want everybody to know my son's name. His name is Nasir Marks. He's not just some 18-year-old black male that was shot. His name is Nasir Marks. Jermaine now. Thurman spoke with us at North 39th and Poplar Street. Only thing I be saying, only thing I be saying about this, when the parents get to talking, of course your parent ain't gonna go up there and say, "You feel what I'm saying?" But in react, in actuality, gang, as a parent, you don't really know if this nigga was an innocent bystander. It might seem like that because it's your son, and you don't want to see, think about your son doing under that shit or gang banging or being in the streets or toting pipes. But you really know. I'm not saying he was doing that. I'm just saying you never know, shorty. Like a lot of a lot of mamas co on the news. I didn't nigga. I didn't see niggas on the news. Mamas on the news crying, talking about they son was innocent. No, this nigga killed by four niggas. You talking about he innocent. No the f he ain't. So I ain't saying he wasn't. I'm just saying you feel well, me every time son, don't be the same shit. and killed Tuesday. That shit look like a, a war zone, nigga. Where's this is like a Call of Duty map. What the fuck Son is going Nasir on? was shot and killed Tuesday. He got into no trouble. Nothing. All this is way out of left field. Thurman came to the scene today trying to make sense of what happened. He says the last time he saw Nasir was when he was practicing his senior speech Tuesday night. Yeah. Nasir then went to see his girlfriend in Mantua, which was about 15 minutes away. Uh, maybe hmm. an hour later, we get a call from. Police. Presbyterian Hospital. Oh, the hospital. Asking, uh, are we the parents of Nasir Marks? It was a call he never expected. Police say Around someone shot and Fall killed ass, Nasir boy. just before 7.30 that evening in broad light. Uh, it's definitely a tragedy anytime someone is shot and killed in the city. But in this particular evening, we've had an 18-year-old and a 15-year-old. Same year old night. Within a half-hour time frame. God damn. Clearly two separate shootings. Nasir was supposed to graduate from Overbrook High School in a couple of weeks and then attend Cootstown University in the fall. Damn. His father says Nasir was wearing the university hoodie that night. Damn. And he was the first one that was going to go to college out of my, my, my household. We do know faculty and staff over at Overbrook High School where Nasir went to school are working to remember his life. In the meantime, though, investigators are trying talk. to get to talk. Like, I had a dad talk right I couldn't even f talk. I'd be f passed the f out somewhere, nigga. I don't even know what the f I'd do. Like, oh my God, nigga. I, I, I don't know if I spin a shit. Or here in what the Corey fuck? Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Lee say two teens were shot and killed in separate shootings in Philadelphia during a 30 minute span. The first shooting happened on the 3,900 block of Poplar Street in West Philadelphia around 7 30 p.m. According to police, 18-year-old Nasir Marks was shot multiple times. He was taken to the hospital where he died. Damn. 30 minutes later, a 15-year-old boy was shot multiple times. How far away was in that? His torso, back, and neck. Was it the same hood? On the 2,500 block of North Sydenham Street around 8 p.m. Tuesday. The teen, identified as Kanye Pittman, was taken to Temple University Hospital where he died shortly before 8.15 p.m. According to police, 18-year-old Samaj Nolan, boy. otherwise known as Reek Hunnett, and 18-year-old Zaire Crawford, otherwise known as Baby 1K, were both arrested for these crimes and sentenced mm. to 20 to 40 years in prison. Damn, 20 they to were 40. both members of the group YBC. 20 to 40, nigga. 20 to 40. It don't be worth it, gang. 
I'm telling y'all right now, for it don't be worth it, girl. It do not be f worth it, gang. I know niggas ain't listening to me, but I promise you, folk, on everything I love, that do not be worth it.